got that over here too. Let's check it out. Yucky, yucky. Microwave right there. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a microwave right there, but it's really nasty, guys. I don't even see a cord on there. No. So we'll just leave it. So anyway, guys, three women today acquired about the crib. That's why I was like that. Three women acquired about the crib. I opened this up, this top part. I opened it. I looked inside. Everything is brand new. And they're like, they don't know if they want it. Why are you asking me about the crib if you don't know if you want it? It's brand new. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's see if I get this open. Uh, we're just going to open up the back for you, right? See it back there? Yeah, I hear you. That's the uh, baby thing. Oh, okay. Plastic. All right, I'll put that in the back. Well, my, friend's, uh, my friend's daughter... Okay. Um. I can help you with that. Yeah, because that changing pad, that's like the same size as the changing pad. Okay. Slide that down. Alright, here's 125. And if i if I open it and something's not there, I'll just yeah, I'm not going nowhere. Okay. Yeah. It no. should be there. It's a closed box, right? Yep. It didn't take us long. We just had to go up that mountain. Okay. So we had to go up that big mountain. You don't want to go down that mountain. Now. Now. Ready? <laughs> Thank you. I'm not sure No yet. problem. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Take care. All right. Bye. Hey, guys. There it is. The dream, man. The dream, man. The dream, man. Okay. I open that dresser. I know it's good. It's for sale. Where? It's for sale as is. Where is so? I mean. Right there. Look at that, guys. Were you nice. Better than scrapping. Were you asking 125 or more? Yeah, 125. I was asking 135 at one point. And 145, so I went down on 125. Because I had four people ask me about the crib when it was at 100, and they wanted to give me 75 and lower. So I said, no, 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 I need at least $100 firm. And so I went up to 125, and then we finally got it sold. That basically what I wanted for it. And yeah, baby! <laughs> she got a good deal, guys. She got a, a baby changing mat, right? Where you put the baby in it, you can't roll it. Brand new, it's worth 30 bucks. Changing pad. Changing pad. It's changing worth 30. Pad. Changing table pad, whatever. It's worth 30 bucks. And uh, so, this crib is like almost 200 bucks new. You figure she saved $75 plus 30. $95 and I got something I wanted and they got something they wanted 25 minute run whatever that's uh, 100, 125 bucks right there making my money back for what I paid okay guys let's take a look and, oh crib is gone guys sold it 125 bucks so that's gone yeah, and I'm going to try to get these up, I, gotta, I don't know, uh, it says made in 2009, I'm not, I'm not sure, but if I sell all these, you know, I might ask like 35 bucks because they're cast iron, so I might get that up, some small things up, you know, but yeah. Hey, the big crib's out of here, and now I can walk in. 
I can walk right in guys so that's awesome this now what I might do is just pick up some of this cardboard and get this cardboard out of here all right so I got toolboxes here 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 down there this whole thing is full basically of tools down in there uh, and all these bins guys all these bins with this stuff uh, it's good stuff here's a doll I want to get listed I mean guys I like selling things you know but this is the doll looks like twitching out her eyes are twitching look guys <laughs> Hey, that sounds like a ceramic. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm gonna ask a hundred bucks for this doll. Maybe more. Maybe I'll put it up for two hundred. See what happens if I get any responses, you know. And then I'll reduce it. But I got plates and stuff. I got the hiccups bag, guys. Ah, you see? But all this stuff I'm gonna be trying to sell. All this type of stuff here. Uh, I'm just gonna lightly wipe these so it's a nice shine. And oh, geez, this is falling off it already. So a whole bunch of collectible stuff in this bin, including that doll. So that's all that I got. In fact, I'm gonna bring this in with me. So that's gotta get sold, guys. I'm gonna get it listed and just. Try to make room in this house, you know? Just try to make room and so I can come in and out and start going through stuff more. And and seeing what I got, you know what I mean? That looks like a freaking haunted doll too, man. Haunted doll. Head is, head is soft, like a rubber. Maybe I can't get a hunter for it, guys. I don't know. I gotta see. I just don't know. It's not really too many markings about the doll. But this is definitely, uh, I'm gonna say this is definitely vintage uh, doll. Even though it's not ceramic, it's still vintage. It's probably like the 70s or 60s. Plastic cans, rubber head. I don't know, it's weird. But uh, blue eyes, guys. And she, look at the dress she has on, guys. It's got to be old. And, and there's a stand here. I don't know if that's just for the doll stand or is it's not for the doll. I don't know. I got I got to read look up all that stuff and try to see what this is worth so you know I'm not I don't care about all the junk on the sides here so much it's all in bins and boxes a lot of this stuff here is gonna go soon it's gonna be out of here this all this will be empty this will all be empty here and it's just gonna be storage unit storage unit storage and I should be able to fit at least two storage units in here I mean there's a lot of flea market stuff as well guys you know, um, silverware, dishware, you know, just, you know, all kinds of crazy stuff that's in here for a flea market, you know. So, well, I got a video showing you guys all this stuff here. Look at this. Nice uh, cat pillow signed by somebody. And there's a scanning tag on it, so that's pretty cool. I'll be able to scan that tag right there and, and get a price, hopefully. Kitten teacup. Kitten teacup. Yeah. Should be a good seller. That's all the money, guys, so far. We're making money, guys. Got a few ones down there, but... 200-something dollars right here so far, guys, from the storage unit that's my unit that's actually my shed that's my shed guys i got cameras on the shed but 
you know, we're getting there to that 500 mark where I made my money back. And everything else is yet to be sold. So I could see $3,000 or more coming out of this shed right now, guys, from the storage units, abandoned, unclaimed storage units. So it's not too bad, guys. Nice little 50 right there. Save it, guys. Okay, you got to get your money back. Okay, save it. Save everything you make and keep doubling it if you can. Okay, or triple it. You know, that's what you're going to do, triple it. Quadruple it, that's for sure. And that's what I want to do. And I'll show you what I'm working on right now. Okay, guys, so we got the doll. Um, look how discolored this plastic is. This, this plastic must be so old. You know, it looks like it was taped on the top. And the bottom was left open. So I don't know how old this plastic actually is, guys. But, uh, wow. Okay, so what I'm working on, guys, is just calm and cooler. I'm going to list this for about uh, 70 bucks. They're going for anywhere from 90 to 65 I think. So I'm going to put it at 75 So it does have a bunch of scratches and stuff. And then a little rust on the back. It has to be cleaned out. All this is going to be scrubbed out. This will be nice and clean when I go to sell it. You know, so bleach it clean it really good and uh, so let's get it get it cleaned up there's the Coleman locks guys just to show you it's a plastic bottom we're gonna clean that all up every this is all gonna be clean take some time with this unit probably gonna take these screws out and clean them up and these brackets here and clean all this Get them nice and shiny and uh, you know, just clean everything, you know. Clean it all up. It's a nice cooler, guys. It's worth some money. Definitely worth some money. And so. Nice. Look at that. Nice, guys. Vintage. Right here. Vintage, guys. So, and it's got the side handles, opener, it says opener, <laughs> right there, <laughs> and over here, it says opener. I'm going to try to clean all this rust up, some steel wool, and get this nice and clean. I want this to be nice and clean for whoever purchases this here, and, you know, it's got a lot of scrapes and chips, but man, that just gives it more of that rustic look. Um, to it, that this is a used piece that is in really good condition. You can see the Coleman stickers starting to crack, and so you know this is real vintage when you see cracking of the sticker there. So this, I think this go quick. And the doll, I'm gonna ask 100 bucks, maybe 200 to start, and we'll see where we go from there because. I just gotta see guys, I don't know. This will stand up. So I'm gonna put a camera on her. And if anything tries to move this, like the eye will start to look at that, look at that eye. See how it's shimmering right there? Wow. So anyway. I'm gonna put this on something real solid and I'm just gonna have the. I might even take the plastic off and just have her sit there. Look at that eye moving. <laughs> so, look at it twitching, guys. Are you a haunted doll? Does that mean yes? Can you twitch the other eye? Is it stuck? No, the other eye is good. Let's get this one up all the way, maybe. I don't know what's going on with this doll, guys. Maybe it needs to be more forward. And we'll, we'll rig her up so she's forward. More forward so the eyes are definitely equal. And uh, when, when she lay her down, she looks like she's sleeping. You see that? She looks like she's sleeping. And when you lift her up, 
with your eyes open. Are you looking at me? Huh? So anyway, we'll, we'll mess around with this a little bit before we sell it, guys. And for this one, too, this is going to go for a lot more money. This could go for three to six hundred dollars if she is haunted. So, but who knows, guys? Who knows? I'm going to put it up for two two hundred and see what we get. Because we, you know, we don't know. We don't know right now until I do some research on her. Maybe there's a name somewhere. Uh, so. I'm going to wrap up this video guys and the next two items getting listed as the doll and the cooler nice stack of money guys so far from the units okay guys we are over halfway of making my money back we have $265 I need four hundred and seventy-five dollars to recoup my money I put out for the two storage units, abandoned, unclaimed storage units, and I would say we're more than halfway there. So that, that's that's a plus, and we're getting there. We're going to be there really soon. The more the weather warms up here where I am, the more people will actually be to be purchasing. You know, so. I don't, I don't want to sh shove money down your throat every time I make a video, but it's just getting to my goal, guys. Getting that 475 back, or 500. You know, 475, maybe 25 bucks in fuel, whatever, to move this stuff. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.